Yeah, I come back four days later, the dog's laying at the guy's feet, all right? He's rubbing her belly, she's reaching up, playing with his goatee and shit. <laughs> and he goes, go ahead, have a, have a seat. Why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, take me through your day with this dog? Immediately, I started getting like this first 48 vibe, right? <laughs> like they're coming at me. So I got like defensive. I'm like, what do you mean? I take it for a hike every morning. He goes, that's good, that's good. Anything, you know, special happen on the hike? I'm like, well, you know, I don't know, she takes a shit, I pick it up. It's like, all right, easy. <laughs> you play any games with her? I go, yeah, at the end of the hike. I let her, I let her, you know, for reward for going on the hike, I let her run up the stairs by herself. I go, go on, Cleo, I let her run up the stairs, and I count five, 1,000, and then I run up there, and then we start wrestling. Put her in a headlock, sweep her front legs, ah, right? But her tail's wagging, you know? She's not growling. I go, that's a good thing, right? He's like, no, it's fucking horrible. I'm like, why? He goes, you just taught your dog to claim the house and then fight for it every fucking day after the hike. No wonder this thing's trying to attack the mailman, you know? So then I got upset. I'm like, wait a minute, dude, you're telling me like I can't even play with my dog? He's like, no, you can play with it, but you gotta bring that energy back down. The problem is, is you keep amping this thing up, getting that Mike Singletary look on his face. Then by the time you walk out, doesn't matter if you're relaxed, mentally the dog is like walking through the tunnel at the Rose Bowl, like, this is what we play for! <laughs> somebody hit somebody! 